Joseph Allen Music here with you guys today. Check out another review off a Boss Amp. And we're going to have a little look at that. I'm going to let James, Jimmy James Walker, tell us a little bit about that and how it works. So, James, glad you're here. And tell us a little bit about this Boss Amp. Right. So this is the Boss Katana 50, uh, 54, 50 watts. Uh, so this is actually uh, sort of a middle-of-the-road one. They have a 25-watt version and a 100-watt version. And they also make the amp head if you want to put it on your half stack. Uh, but it, it's pretty much, uh, as far as solid-state amp goes, uh, this is the most versatile you're going to get, I would say. Now you start getting into tubes, you can start spending real money. Like That's, that's like totally different. But as far as solid-state amps, I would argue uh, this is the way to go. Um, Boss just has outdone themselves. They have uh, a variety of, of pedals that are already programmed into uh, the, the, the box. And then also you can get online and actually plug this into your computer and you can design your tone in a, a tone station through an app. And you can choose which pedals go where and, and that sort of thing. Anywho, so, so let's look at some of the specifics. What, what I've been playing right here has been on the clean channel, uh, but they are, there's also an acoustic channel if you, if you have your acoustic guitar plugged in, uh, so it works for, as an acoustic amp. We've got uh, a crunch channel, which, which has a little bit more uh, grit to it. And then of course, uh, get ready, <laughs> uh, the lead ready. channel. So lead even more, sort of a lead sound. So yeah, that's what you want. And then a brown, just like, <laughs> you know, if you want crazy distortion, you know. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put it back on the clean channel and just sort of give us an example of what, what's going on here. I'm going to turn this up a little bit yeah, here. Yeah, go for it. Uh, you know it so, better than me. <laughs> yeah, so clean without gain is actually kind of boring. But as you add gain, it adds a little bit more punch to it. And the same goes for the rest of the channels. I'm not going to crank the gain all the way up um, for you on, on every single channel. I'm not going to blow this amp out yet. Um, <laughs> but as far as sturdiness goes, it's, it's a solid, uh, really solid, solid state amp. Uh, solid state amp. Um, so three band EQ for the kind of tone that you're looking for. Um, so there's a booster. So a clean boost. So this, this is me without the booster right now. And if I want the boost on, you turn that on. You hear an audible difference. Uh, so that's convenient. There's also a mod. Uh, I think this is either flanger or chorus or something right now. So you can actually program what each of these do. Um, uh, so that's that's my modulation right there, and you can adjust how loud it is or how how fast it, it changes, um, depending on what it is. Uh, there's a delay, so I can I can make the delay last longer. That comes handy. So that I can, can be. I could think in a lot of situations that'd be really handy because I can tell you with some amps like this that I've gotten into. I can't control the delay setting when I need just a little bit of that tweak. It kind of just says, like, it's going to be this much delay or this little, and there's oh. nothing you can do to kind of stop it. So that's actually really nice. Yeah, super convenient. Uh, I have no idea what FX 
what uh, what uh, uh, sound effect I have here. Let's see. Sounds like I have like a rotating speaker or something in there. That's exactly what it sounds like. I can hear it rotating. Yeah, because anyway. my, my ears feel like they're going to seize when I hear that. That's exactly what that is. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, all these are programmable. I don't. I have my own pedal board, so I really don't use those that much. Uh, and it's also got a reverb, which works great, which means I don't have to have a reverb on my pedal board. Um, and so uh, it's got these three different settings, uh, 50 watt, 25, and half a watt, as well as a standby. And then... Uh, to add to it, so I've been playing everything on this panel, which is essentially everything you edit out here is to the panel, but you can program two different channels that are just set up exactly how you want. Mm. So, so apparently, <laughs> apparently that was a rock channel whenever I programmed it. <laughs> I don't um, know if y'all could hear that, but that was painful in here. Yep. <laughs> We're not going to mess with those, but those do exist. You do have different channels. <laughs> uh, very versatile amp as far as what it can do. Everything from clean to you know, crazy metal distortion. The noise everyone loves to hear. Right. <laughs> um, it's got a, it's a really good uh, clean channel to put pedals on top of. So this is, this is the amp I run my pedals through. Uh, and so if, if I'm, if I've got it on the clean tone, which is what I do uh, a lot of the time, I got this nice sort of juicy clean. Great, I'll just put on my uh, soul food pedal. Great for like a blues. So, anywho, you can. The possibilities are endless. You can do anything you want to with this amp and uh, get really any sound you want to. And if you don't know how to make the sound, there's an entire uh, forum of people. When you buy the amp, you get access to it uh, through Boss, just saying like, hey, how do I make this sound? And you can get that sound and someone will, will either make it for you or you can find one that already exists, as well as tweak your own sounds that you want. So if you're looking for uh, like a classic rock sound or, or a worship sort of clean, springy sound, uh, all of them are available through Boss's website. Boss really outdid themselves with this one. So good job, Boss. Yeah. So really, really a, a very tech support friendly amp. If someone maybe is extremely new to the idea of like, I have no idea what an amp is or which ones are good or bad or... I can't buy and afford all these pedals. Mm -hmm. um, as, as a boss, you think it's something that if someone has a lot of experience or no experience, would probably be a good grab to go get. Yeah, and like boss makes, like every pedal that exists, there's a boss <laughs> version. So um, boss makes amazing pedals, and they're all like, like programmed into this thing. So if you want, I think there's like 60 plus pedals or something you can just put in here immediately you can only do a limited amount at a time but you're not going to be using pedal 60 pedals at once yeah, that's fair. um so uh great to start out like if you don't have pedals get this amp if you can't afford pedals get this amp if you do have pedals get this amp you know um only reason i would tell you not to get this amp is if you were already like way beyond this budget and you were like you know what i've got i've got pedals out the wazoo and i've already got a tube amp i think that's the only way you can get better is if you got tube uh, tube amps. So, so otherwise, it, like highly recommended. So if someone's not gonna go a tube amp route, this is like you're saying, like this is the one that you recommend to grab. Absolutely, this does everything. I've used it in live performances. Uh, when you put it at 50 watts, like you can fill up a room. You can play with a small band. Um, if you need something louder than that, you can get the 100 watt version, which isn't too much more uh, than this one. What are we looking at in terms of price ranges? Because that's that's a big. That like thing, yeah. deal breaker for people in terms of price depending where you look you can find a lot of these used uh i got this one new for like i think 225 uh and and if you wanted the 100 watt version uh just go ahead and tack on another 70 bucks to that uh so probably closer to 300 but but these things have existed for a while 
and you can find these on the used market all the time. They also have way smaller versions. They have a little five watt version. So if you need, you know, a little itty bitty amp like this, uh, you can get that. I, I honestly would just get the 25 watt or the 50 watt. Um, you know, if you're if you're doing like massive shows that are filling up stadiums, uh, you can still you can do the 100 watt or you can do the the you know the the amp head that you can put on uh, a half stack or you can just mic a 50 watt you know um yeah so. i mean truly we see that all the time because um i run like typically i run typically a little bigger amp because I, I like tube amps mm -hmm. but there are times where, i mean you look at a guy like skyler skyler doesn't run who's also done been a guest instructor on here you can go check out one of his videos he kind of gives his pedal board breakdown he does not run a tube amp in fact, he's even got to the point where he didn't run an, he didn't run an amp anymore when he goes to shows. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's a great thing. I think the electronics now get so good uh, in stuff that you're seeing that obviously, you know, if you get like studio monitors, studio headphones, and you're listening to all this stuff, you know, the tube's going to have the better sound. You know, just it, but you're having to get so high end on the sound to listen and hear everything. Stuff's getting so good. You're talking about small percentages of making a difference yeah i think you know you can sound great through this amp regardless of your playing level like if you're a beginner or a pro you can sound good through this amp um it doesn't have an effects loop um so so i think the next step up i think so if you get the 50 watt you're not going to get enough effects loop but if you get a 100 watt i think it does have an effects loop um it does have an uh, power amp out as well as recording out and headphones out so if you if you you know if you need a practice amp and you can plug in headphones like this is the way to do it um, also one thing I forgot to mention up here is on the delay there is a, a tap function so uh, everyone knows what tap on delay does um, so oh, I'll turn myself back up see if we can hear Super fast delay. Or I could do a slow one. <laughs> Anywho, so that's that's useful. That, that's extremely useful. I really like it. So we're looking at around $225 for the, for this, for the 50 watt. Mm -hmm. And so I really like the fact that it's, uh, as I kind of try to get more on the screen here because I've got my microphone too. I really like the 50 watt uh, beam because if you want to get like a higher end amp than this, when you start to kind of like, let's say really get your bang for your buck, you know, you're really going to start pushing like, four five hundred dollars to get like that substantial next step up um and honestly and then if you get above that you know you're starting to look at a grand or more and so i i really respect boss in terms of their caliber i'm a big fan like myself like you i think boss just makes good stuff yeah um i don't have any complaints with them and it definitely if you have a non-tube amp because there are pros and cons because if you have a tube amp you are going to spend a lot of money on repairs on them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're constantly wanting to fix them. You're constantly trying to keep the tubes up, everything clean. And so this, I would say, is a little more, like, durable. Yeah, and and this one specifically. Like, you can get, uh, like, a fender solid state, and you'll still have problems with durability occasionally. But this one's, like, been thrown in the back of my car and, like, sat on before and stuff. And it works great. Don't have any problems with it sounds good i will say like like price point is a huge thing to me uh if you're looking for amazing sound quality uh for you know sub 250 uh price point i i honestly can't find something better than this uh out in the market you can find you can find amps for under two hundred dollars. I don't think you'll get this versatility. <laughs> but uh, should you? That's the question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and if it's if it's just for practice, 
it's perfect if if you want to play gigs with it. It works well with small bands. Uh, otherwise, you'll, you'll probably want to want to mic it. Um, but yeah, and if you're playing with a big band anyway, you've probably got a bigger amp. So uh, comes highly recommended, especially if if you're a beginner looking for an amp but don't know where to start. Like this is a great amp. Uh, intermediate level as well. Uh, if if you're going pro, you're probably gonna get something bigger, <laughs> <laughs> or, or you're gonna have like 20 amps already. Um, but I I think it's a great amp. Um, yeah, I've considered getting so I have that that slanted half stack. Yep. Uh, but I don't have a head yet, so I've considered getting the the Boss Katana head for it. Uh, decided against it so far, just because I wanna I wanna see what else is out there and just kind of experiment. Uh, but I, I know that if I got that, I would enjoy the sounds from it. So, um, all around, good stuff. All righty. So there you go. That's another review on Just Valley Music with James Walker breaking us down on a great little amp. And it is a good sound. Because I remember when we go to our shows and stuff and you bring that, mm-hmm. it's always got a good sound. Uh, I typically have to, like, a lot of times when, you know, like, if sometimes we when we when we get a lot of people to come in that like aren't you guys or somebody we typically have to have gear like on reserve because you just like you know what do they have mm-hmm. what are they using you know is it gonna typically a lot of times you can get we're just you know gear's expensive yep. it is expensive and I get that and so we like to have a lot of gear on reserve but when you show up and you bring your stuff you bring your amp we we, we always know it's like okay you know hey this is good it's gonna work uh, we're just not worried about it and so when you do those bigger shows. Uh, for those of you that do that, y'all understand. <laughs> you understand that. Um, but Boss is always respectable, um, and I have no issues with Boss. I use a lot of Boss's stuff myself. Uh, just they're solid, and their stuff doesn't break. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how many people are like, "This is absolutely amazing," and you know, it's really it needs a lot of TLC, and it's just really mm-hmm. fickle, and it just breaks. And Boss, I haven't found a Boss thing on me that's just broken. And so I love it. All right. James, thanks so much for breaking us down and giving us a review of the Boss Amp. And appreciate it. So you guys, all the links are in the description. Go check it out and decide for yourself. It's a good pick for you. And uh, let us know what kind of other reviews you want to see on the, on the website as well. If you guys are not watching this on the website, you need to go there now and check out more awesome reviews, more videos, and some great stuff that you can learn the guitar in all areas uh, around. Thanks so much, guys, and God bless.